Our I-24 news correspondent Emily Francis went all the way to the Golan Heights in the north to meet the Klalaor, a photographer who focuses on reenacting biblical scenes with a special emphasis on women. Let's take a look. Meet Noah, Tirza, Milka, Hogla, and Mala, five unmarried sisters who achieved the impossible four decades after the prophetess Miriam led the Israelites in song across the Red Sea. Around 1260 BC, as the Israelites were ready to enter the land of Canaan after 40 years in the desert, these early feminists used their knowledge of Torah and legal savvy to convince Moses to take their case directly to God. These five sisters could predict the changes that needed to happen so women could study higher subjects and debate the Torah. There are more than 120 women figures in the Torah, and one cannot learn about all of them. <laughs> Photographer Dikla Laor is trying to change that. She reimagines female biblical figures and brings them to life in an explosion of color like a Renaissance painting. And in a matter of minutes, she is able to transform these models of today into the matriarchs of our ancient past. It's a story of women that sometimes you didn't hear about them, but most of them, they had a very uh, important uh, part in this history. And now it's time or it's an uh, opportunity to, to tell their story. It's always important to know the tradition, to know where we come from, and to know that women back in the times of the Bible were strong even though it wasn't always expressed. At that time in history, God instructed Moses to take a census of males in order to divide up the land of Canaan according to tribes. Their father, Slof Chad, from the tribe of Levi, died during a rebellion, but these smart sisters took the law into their own hands, saying, Let not our father's name be lost to his clan just because he had no sons. Give us a holding among our father's kinsmen. Plus, the mercy of flesh and blood is not like the mercy of God for all his works. The five sisters were at a physical and spiritual crossroads that parallels the times that we're living in now. Today, women can share their voice and uh, they can change things and, and do good things for the humanity, for all of us. And because of their grace, diplomacy, and unwavering faith in the mercy of God, they merited the biggest blessing. The Torah portion that talks about the daughters inheriting the land is Pinchas, which in the Zohar is a Torah portion of healing. It is an antidote to negativity, and it just shows that through grace and dignity, women have the power to bring healing to the world. Dikla just completed a photo book of biblical women. Last year, I-24 joined her photo shoot about Tamar, the daughter-in-law of Judah, son of Jacob. Tamar was married to Judah's son, who died before they had children. She then waited years to be married to Judah's third son. But when this didn't happen, she decided to disguise herself as a prostitute and seduce Judah. In this era of the time of the woman, Dikla hopes her pictures will be worth much more than a thousand words from thousands of years ago. But instead, an indelible message to the future generations of young women that they can do anything. In the Golan Heights, Emily Francis, I-24 News.